Hi, it's Tanya and I'm here to talk yarn. I have a great order with two yarns I think you should run out and buy from Premier Yarns. And I also have an order from Hersner's, not quite the stelling, uh, stellar review in my opinion, but you win some, you lose some, right? The first thing I'm gonna tell you about is this amazing 100% cotton yarn. I made a project with it, a shawl, and it was such a pleasure to work with the whole time. The yarn is so soft, it's beautiful, it's mushy, and it's a pleasure to touch. It's just wonderful. And so I have this lovely shawl. Unfortunately, I, I ran out of yarn almost. I had needed a couple more rows of length for it. So I had to kind of improvise with some other turquoise yarn I had and some other, um, a thicker yarn for the end to make a nice little thing at the end. But I ended up really loving it, even with the, the differences. It seems like sometimes the off pattern, the, the improvising ends up making something I make even more fun and even more me. So, <laughs> well, I guess, I am human with all my little mistakes and foibles that are beautiful in their own way. But I love this yarn. I bought it, made this and ran out and bought more. I couldn't help myself. I got a couple of this color. This is apricot and it's cotton supreme. It's cotton, I'm sorry, yeah, DK Sea Spray. Sorry, I stumbled over that for some reason. And it is 3.5 ounces and 230 yards. And it's so squishy soft. And it's a great price point for what it is. It's on clearance for $5.50. I was lucky enough that Premier was having a 30% off of their, or was it 25% off of their uh, clearance on top of the clearance price. So I got this for so cheap, but it's five dollars and 50 cents for 230 yards of a hundred percent cotton softness it's this is not what you're making your washcloths with this is amazing garment quality softness you're going to one up against your body it's so pretty i only bought two of these so i'm going to run over now they have it back in stock i'm going to run over and buy some more of this this color is melon and they just don't have it anymore otherwise i would have finished off with it I got red to do something for Christmas. I think it's so beautiful. It's it's nice and it does a kind of striping, not pure striping, but it does where you get the white with blue flecks or I guess turquoise and then more turquoise with white. So you get a mix. I got a number of these brindles. I'll probably make a little shrug out of this that I think will look really pretty. And I got enough to make a sweater from this. Uh, I just, I'm so excited to wear it. And the nice thing so far, I don't know how long that'll last because you know, cotton can often stretch out, lose its shape. And I'm a little bit nervous about making the sweater, but not too much so because I have worn this a fair amount and it's a shawl. So you can't tell if it stretches as much, but it really seems to have kept its shape really nicely. In my opinion, so far, you never know, of course, if you're making garments with uh, cotton like this, whether it will, um, stretch out or not but frankly I don't care it's so soft it'll just still be something I wear at home then because having this against your skin is such a pleasure so if you get a chance unfortunately the denim is sold out they don't have the denim anymore but they have the red they have the brindle they have the apricot for sure they also have I think like a lime color which is just I don't like anything yellow or green. I'm not buying that voluntarily. So um, you, they might have some other colors that you like as well, but $5.50 for a hank of soft joy. So you want joy, $5.50, not bad. <laughs> now these are $2.99 and no one would guess if you made them something out of this yarn that it was a $2.99 shawl or whatever it is you make from it. You see those sequins that are so sparkly? Surprisingly enough, this is probably one of my first uh, sequin yarns that I've actually purchased. I've seen many of them and walked away because they are rough. I don't like anything rough up again that's going to touch my skin. And this is Whisper Soft. Now, the, I mean, the yarn isn't this soft yarn, but it's a nice soft yarn. Um, and the sequins are subtle and gorgeous because they're a cobalt blue color. And so they are not flashy. They are classy looking and just beautiful. This yarn is made in Turkey. It is... 
let's see, antique cobalt is the color because you get sort of an antique blue all the way down to a cobalt and some sort of like greenish gray in between your color stripes. Um, and this is 74% acrylic, 22% wool, and 4% paillette, which is your little sequins. It's a light, number three. It feels a little bit, no, no actually, I, I would call that a three. It's a bit roving, not a lot roving. If you, if you hate rovings, I don't think you'll hate this. Um, but it is definitely a little bit thinner and a little bit thicker in spots. So there you go. And you can see it has a little bit of fuzzy to it, but I haven't found it to be hard to work with so far. Um, I just started a project for a friend of mine. I'm gonna make myself a wrap, a long rectangular wrap to wear. And hopefully if I ever get to go to the opera again, it's been years to wrap that around, have like a, a probably gray shell with that wrapped around in a shawl pin and have it cascading in the front. I think it's gonna look so classy. Um, although, can something be classy if you use the word classy? I don't know if that's classy. But here's what I've started for my friend. And you can see that stitch definition. It is gorgeous. I love it so much. I hope she really likes it when I make it for her. I think she's going to. And so uh, you can see the sparkle from those blue sequins in there. And you can just see that you have like in in middle of the stitch it goes dark i mean it's like this not just in this lighting but in like outside it is gorgeous and so and the color does change like this was a darker sort of grayish greenish almost and then it's starting to turn the um, antique blue in there so if you have some cash go run to the premier yarns and get that for two dollars and 99 cents a skein and did i tell you how much I don't know, I got so excited about it. Let me make sure. I told you what it was made of, but I don't think I told you how many yards. 3.5 ounces and 264 yards for $2.99 for this beautiful yarn. Now this is not necessarily classy. It is not subtle um, and chic. It is in your face. It These uh, are not silver. They have flashes of color, like holographic almost. It is absolutely gorgeous though it is not gonna be I'm gonna make a shrug out of this and it is not gonna be a subtle shrug it's going to be uh <laughs> very very flashy but again though you saw all those sequins they absolutely are not scratching my face at all so this is really beautiful yarn two dollars and 99 cents I can't say it often enough oh here's the rest of my premiere love this it's merino mist this color is frost they have a beautiful baby blue and a beautiful baby pink that are stunning. It's considered light and maybe it really is light. It's just that it's so fuzzy. It looks bigger. Oh my gosh, can you see that shine? I saw this and online and I thought, you know what? I want to make from this, it looks so fluffy. I want to make a, just a cute little shrug that's just going to be fuzzy. And when I feel all feminine and cute and pretty, I think I'll wear it with something. So um, it's just so pretty. It's 50 grams and 167 yards, three weights, 60% viscous, 20% acrylic, and 20% fine merino wool superwash. It's beautiful. And I want to show you two things that are 50 grams. This is 50 grams of cotton. This is 50 grams of fluff. It's so fluffy. I think it's just going to be beautiful. So I think these were about $5 a ball, which is maybe a little pricey, but stunning. I, I don't care. I thought I like it. You know, sometimes you see something, you're like, okay, I want that. It's worth what I'm willing to pay for it. And so I actually, since I'm showing you this, this is cottonwood. It's kind of falling apart a little. It uh, it wasn't like that when I got it. Um, cottonwood, it's on sale, I believe, for $3.99. It's 100% organic cotton and a really pretty color. Um, you get 50 grams and um, 115 yards. It, it says it's light, which I assume means three weight in their, in their opinion. Uh, made in Turkey. And it just, it looks really nicely put together. That's not going to split on you. It's going to be really nice to work with. And I got it to go with this beautiful yarn. Look at this yarn. Here, let me take the thing off right there. Um, you just have so many colors. See how I want, I want to make this a lovely throw blanket out of this and then have this be my edging. Uh, this one, you can see there's purples to lavenders and sort of whites and creams and uh, 
browns or not browns i guess probably tans and greens i love this yarn i cannot wait to make something with it um, i'm going to make a throw blanket and trim it in the cottonwood this is a four weight let me get the little tag that goes with it it is not cheap this is cotton vibrance 394 yards though that's a lot of yardage for cotton it's a hundred percent cotton it's seven ounces and it just it feels substantial it's a four weight whereas that other one was a three weight for my trim but I think it'll still look really nice and so it is a four weight yarn and I just love the colors the, those muted colors and I figure a cotton blanket as a throw is going to be really pretty this was made in Turkey and I just, the colors, I just can't get over how beautiful I think those are. And so I think I'm gonna love, I think the, the nice cozy blanket made out of cotton for that. And here's another one I got on clearance, three balls of this for $9. Um, fantastic price. They don't have this color anymore. They have a moss, which is a tan, which isn't my choice. That's why I didn't get more of it. I just got this persimmon, gorgeous. Love it. I don't, I, I don't know if I'm gonna make a shawl or if I'm gonna make something else to go with this, but um, it's a two weight, so it is very light, but it um, it feels very substantial. Even though it's light, it feels like something that is not gonna split. It's gonna, you'll be able to work with it very well. Um, it's 317 yards in this ball for $3 for the ball. I think that's a fantastic deal. It is 3.5 ounces, machine washable, 52% cotton, 48% acrylic, and uh, it feels very nice. It is a fine weight. And the color's persimmon, and where's this one made? Seems like a lot of their stuff is made in Turkey. But I don't say, up. Oh, made in Turkey. <laughs> there you go. So I really like this. They have this, this is from the clearance area. They have lots of ones that are not in clearance. I think it's about $5 a ball instead of $3 a ball. Really nice yarn, but you might get it in the $3 so that you and maybe if the, you'll use the tan for something for the home or something and then um maybe get some of the other colors if you really like it i i think it's really nice we'll see what i like after I, or see how much i like it after i use it this is bamboo joy now they don't have the clearance one of this anymore this was a mist dye where it's not doesn't quite match the regular princess pink that they have but it's super pretty it was three doll three balls for eight dollars um it is um, princess pink, obviously made in Turkey, like all the others, machine wash, cold, lay flat to dry. It's a light three weight, 50% bamboo, 50% acrylic, 328 yards and 3.5 ounces. And it's soft. It's, um, it has a little bit of roughness to it, but I don't think it's going to be detrimental. Um, but by say roughness, it's when I rub my fingers on it. I have very sensitive fingertips. Like I can't use Red Heart at all because it just rips my fingertips up. And this has a little bit of that feel that, that tears up my fingertips, but I don't think it's really going to bother me. It's soft enough that it's going to be fine. So that Bamboo Joy, they have it in lots of colors. In fact, I think it's on sale right now if you want to go check it out and try out this. I will tell you, this color is so pretty. And my daughter saw it and was like, will you make this something for me out of this and I was like yes that this thing has been wearing black for so long I can't wait to see her in something pink I'm super excited about that so bought it to make something for me but I am thrilled to make something for her instead now here I think those are all the yarns I've purchased from Premier that I was happy with the last two I'm going to show you here I was really not happy with and part of it might just be me and I'm hoping I get some feedback from you to help me out with this. Um, this is Lena. It is 68% um, linen and 32% cotton, 100 grams and 230 meters. So it, it has quite a bit in it. it uh, it's a two weight, so it is a little thinner, but not super thin. Not like, like many of some of the sock yarns I've worked with. And um, this color is potting soil. They don't have potting soil color. I think they have like a lime color still in it. And I absolutely hate this yarn. It feels like plastic to me. It, it feels almost like it's um, raffia. It, it not quite as bad as another one I bought. My question is, have you used heavy linen cotton blends and had them turn out nice. Maybe you maybe you liked it all along, but maybe you didn't like it necessarily at first and thought it was a little sort of plasticky rough, but then ended up 
going with it um, and liking what you made. Because part of me is thinking, because this is a machine wash warm, so maybe after I wash it, it'll soften it all up. But it, um, this is another yarn. I have read and heard people just raving about this yarn and I could not hate it more. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It's light and fluffy. It's soft enough, but it feels like plastic to me. It, but not like this where it's coated with like a wax is kind of what that feels like. When I say plastic for this, I mean kind of like a waxy. This just feels like acrylic plastic and I just don't like it at all. I think it's pretty. I was going to make a baby blanket for a friend with it and I ended up doing something different because I was not going to use this. It's just so plasticky feeling to me. It's a four weight machine wash warm 245 yards five ounces. It's called the Sweet Roll and this color is Taffy Pop. They still have it on sale. I think it's three balls for $12. Um, and you always have, Premier Yarns always has a 15% off coupon online that you can find and use if you like. So um, I think this was made in Turkey. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll, it turns out fine, but it just feels to me so plasticky. It doesn't feel rough on my fingertips, but so maybe I'll try it, but maybe this will go to my students when I, I do make, we have a maker space where kids get to make stuff and we have things like 3D printer and a carving machine and we do other activities in there. We do Legos too, which is a lot of fun. But what we do is focus on making and usually about twice a year, I will gather up yarn, use my yarn winder to make balls of it that I weigh them to make them about the same. And I buy plastic crochet hooks online really cheap. You can find a big batch of them for really cheap. And I make little, I just take little Ziploc bags and make little bags for them. And then they can come in during lunch, a couple days a week what, during the month that I'm working on it and after school. And we'll sit and we will crochet together. I usually show them how to make granny squares because I think they're so useful. Um, but in the past, I've also just made a washcloth in double crochet to show them how to double crochet. So it just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for and whether I've worked with the students before or not. So that is my premier yarn. And um, overall, thrilled. Two yarns I think you should get. Make sure that you get that classic shade sequin and this beautiful cotton DK Sea Spray. Now, not too quickly though, because I need to buy myself a couple more of that apricots to be able to do a full project with it. But oh my goodness, I love that yarn. Now, I'm gonna show you my Hirschner's haul. This is my first Hirschner's haul, and I got three different sort of bundles because they have their bundles for really cheap. Um, and I got this one. I have done one project, oh, the Super Bowl Sunday or Super Bowl week project with a Marley bird and it was super fun. My bag came out so cute. I, I loved it. And so I wanted to buy the yarn that I know that she helped design and, and was in, has her name on it. It's Merino wool. It's 3.5 ounces and 186 yards. This color is sunset. I got a bag of three of these for $9. Not bad. So it comes to $3 a ball and um, not bad for a four weight sunset color. Where's this made? Made in China, which is fine. And it's 100% wool. Really fantastic price. It's nice. I really like it. It's very squishy. And I can't wait to make something out of this. I love reds. I might do a hat scarf set or something. Oh, see, red just brings out my color. I really love red. So I'm excited to use this. This was my happy purchase from Hirschner's. Now, oh, I have another happy purchase from Hirschner's. I got, these are the Addy Swing maxi hooks put it right side up they're wonderful if you've watched my past video i got the addy swing hooks that were the standard ones and the tip was really short um probably about half almost half an inch shorter and also the the hand part was shorter which actually worked pretty well in my hand this one has a longer tip and the the make the hand part is longer as well but if you look at this, it has a perfect little dip for my thumb. I mean, I just fit right into it. My finger goes right there and then I just wrap around. And it's a little too long for me. You can see how much comes out of the other one. The regular standard size one ends right about here, right at my the tip of my hand, which is a little nicer because it doesn't push so much into my hand right here. Oops, let me, I got on the frame, sorry. So this pushes a little bit more into here. And so I have to kind of 
think about it while I'm working to kind of lift it up so it doesn't press up against that little spot for too long or else it kind of rubs me the wrong way right there. But it's a wonderful hook. I used it for one of my projects and I just really liked it. You can tell I, I have the, I like having a little bit more of a tip to work with when I'm working in my yarn. My finger and my thumb are perfect right there. And so I just have to keep it away from my hand sometimes, but it just, it sits so nicely in my hand. You can see it just goes, there's the pad of my hand that just goes right along it as, you, as I'm working. Love these. These are the Maxi. If you have big hands, I don't have big hands and I still love this. If you have big hands, you are probably really going to love this hook. $10.50 at um, Hershner's. It's the only place I found this Maxi hook. So Addy Swing Maxi, I'll put a link down below for that so that you can try it out if you like. I'm done searching for a hook. The um, This one I love and I'm going to use and also the Amore. What is it? I'm blanking something more. Where's my pack? Excuse me. My current project. I'm using it in my current project because I can't get away from this hook. It is Clover. Clover Amore. So much of my yarn. I try out all of my hooks on my yarn. I try my Furl Streamline. I try my tried and true um, Susan Bates. I try them when I go with for different projects just to see which one is going to swing through that yarn the best. And almost always it's this hook right here. The only thing is that um, it has a little flat edge. I don't know why it's so much better than other hooks that are made that look just like it. I mean, they look exactly like it, but they don't work exactly like it. This, I don't know if it's the coating that's on here because you can tell it's it's flat. Whatever they do to this, it's magnificent. It's my favorite hook, my goat. And um, I, these, these are nice too, especially if I need a break from this, I'll take these um, because these go really nicely too. So the Addy Swing Maxi, Crochet Amore, my two favorite hooks now. Now, let me tell you about my other thing I didn't like over at Hershner's. Um, this is Worsted 8 Baby Yarn. They got me a pack of four for $15. These are eight ounces each. So I got two pounds of yarn for $15 and I should have known I wasn't going to like it. You know what I mean? I mean, really, two pounds of yarn for $15. Yes, it's going to be rough. It is rough acrylic, but it said it was baby. It was for baby blanket. And so I can't thought it can't be rough. It's for babies. Oh, right. Yeah. It's not horrible. It's basically a kind of red heart, in my opinion. And there's nothing wrong with red heart. I've made projects with it, but it kind of tears up my fingertips because it's just a little too rough for me. And this feels a lot like it to me. So if you do like Red Heart, if it doesn't bother your fingers, go for it. Two pounds of yarn for $15, $14.99. Um, this is 100% acrylic. Um, let's see, it's made from Hershner's.com. This color is Clouds. And it came with the four. I didn't get, I got to pick the thing. Um, my four pack, but I didn't get to pick the individual colors. This is the other color that comes with it, Sprout. It's like a little kit. And look at this, this is pretty sweet. It comes with your pull tab so that you can go get, find the center, which as we all know, can be challenging. This one's Splash, isn't that a pretty color? But I think these are probably gonna go to kits, yarn kits, sorry, for my students as well. So that is, um, they're certainly beautiful colors, absolutely. And who knows, maybe I'll sacrifice myself and just go ahead and just work on it for little periods at a time so that when my fingers start to get a little bit sore, I stopped working on it and just move on to something else. And um, it seems like that's what I'm doing every day right now anyways. I work on something and then I work on something else. So that is my yarn that I wanted to share with you. I hope you are creating. I hope you are making and have a lovely day. Take care. I'm going to make a video soon, probably not for another week or so, because I am Will Read for Yarn, and I have read all kinds of great stuff this summer, and I'd love to share it with you. Um, one of my favorite things is audiobooks, because I can crochet and listen to a book at the same time. Love it. So take care of yourself, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.